What's up guys, this is Dhruv and today I'm gonna show you a wonderful cinematic particular animation with a beautiful logo reveal. I'm sure this you must have seen in a movie or a trailer. Also do subscribe to the channel and please see this video till the end because soon we are going to start a giveaway on the channel. So let's quickly start this video and see how this is to be made. So for that I have taken this uh, full HD composition and uh, I'm gonna pull up a logo in this. This is my logo of, an, of Avengers and today we are going to reveal this logo with particular animation. So for that uh, this is my logo and what I'm going to do is this is uh, my logo layer and I'm going to pre-compose this layer in another layer and let's take a, a rectangle shape tool and just make a mask over it. That's it. And uh, after that, we just select this mask path and just animate this mask path. So after just click the stopwatch to mark a keyframe and first point would be this. And after going to let's say four seconds or six seconds, just move this to the side. So this is our animation of a mass path as you can see. And then we just uh, add some feather to it. So now we have this sort of animation. Increase the scale a bit. And now you see, we have this animation with us. So now what we'll do is, this animation is done. I just again I will pre-compose this layer into another one and just name it as a logo and check on the move all attributes into a new composition and press ok. So now this composition is pre-composed into this logo composition and now we will just take a solid layer, we'll just take a black solid layer, this is for the particular and I'll just select, go to right click, select effect, trap code and select particular. You can just hide this logo layer so that we can work effectively on this uh, particular animation. So for the time being, I'm just hiding this logo layer and we have this particular animation with us. Now we're going to set this particular to a certain extent so that we get the desired result. And one thing that we left was uh, we should make this logo layer 3D and uh, then you can just hide this layer and at this point what we'll do is uh, we'll make this particular per second would be somewhere around tax and uh, emitter type should be light S so we have set this uh, particular per second for 3 lakhs and uh, after moving about a sec uh, few one second you can mark a keyframe here and just after pressing control and arrow key just move a one frame forward and put this as zero and select this emitter type to light S and come to velocity mark all the velocity as zero velocity random as zero velocity distribution as zero velocity from motion also zero And come to this emitter size now and emitter X would be 50, Y would be 50 and mark, and mark emitter Z as 1. Then again go to emitter type and select as layer. And after that in layer emitter you can mark this layer as logo. This particle birth time should be particle birth time initially it's current time. So we can just select this as particle birth time. 
now after this uh, you can see your animation see uh, it's coming a bit nicely and uh, after this go to the particles and set the particle life as 2.5 random as 75 the sphere feather as 100 make the size as 2 and uh, after that this opacity over life select this preset as this one second one then select this blend mode from normal to add after this just go to physics and uh, in physics select the air and set the wind as 75 and wind minus and x should be minus 75 Uh, the wind Z should be uh, kept at 0 then go to turbulence field and effect size should be 2 and effect position mark it as 150 now see what's happening here we have these particles coming and disappearing with the same logo reveal and now you can just duplicate this black solid layer of particular layer and uh, Go to the effect control and mark the particle life as 2 in emitter sorry in particles particle life as 2 then go to physics and mark the wind x as 100 and wind y as minus 100 come to this effect position mark this effect position as 300 that's it now come to this project and just you know pull the down this logo main layer in which our initial logo was there now come to this logo main layer and just select a effect as linear wipe wipe on this logo main And just come to the starting of the animation mark this as 100 come to about the point till the particles are about to vanish this is around 5, five seconds of my timeline mark this as 0 increase the feather amount a bit so that there is a smoothness in the transition so we have this smooth animation with us of the logo reveal Plus, we have these particles with us. And before that, uh, you know, uh, one thing, one st step we just left out. Uh, the duplicate layer that we made, the black solid one of particular, just make the blending mode as add. So, you can see uh, one of the layers, we have set the blending mode on, mode on add. And uh, it's getting more in a goldenish tone as because we have the logo in beneath the layer and uh, after that you know just time this logo reveal uh, with the particles so we have these particles coming around this layer around this point that's around 1.2 seconds so let me make the starting of the logo animation from here and now you can see that we have the effect with us as the particles are coming the logo our logo is also getting revealed at the same time let's just run it once perfect see uh, we have made this effect now and you can see as uh, we have timed it so that the transition of the main logo is coming as synchronized with the particles so it just seems that the particles are revealing the logo as the particles are moving 
our logo is also getting revealed and uh, to get more you know a bit uh, more effect onto this we can what we can do is uh, this is our main logo is done uh, to add up and to jazz up a bit what we can do is we can uh, add some uh, light effect to it we can uh, we need to uh, you know take a solid layer just take a black solid layer and uh, take optical flares as effect the render mode should be on transparent go to the options and on the presets i have these presets with me i just select this preset and uh, you know uh, in this we have a different type of uh, elements of this light uh, lens sphere we have this glow we have the streak so in this i'll just switch off this glint this is the glint i just switch it off and press ok put the layer mode as add of this light effect i just rename it for the convenience as flare put the, uh, select the mode as uh, blending mode as add and after that the global color i'll just select it to yellowish or maybe you know, to the golden side that's it and set the position at the bottom of the logo put the center position here down below and go to options again and just scale down this logo a bit the glow part i'll just click scale it down to maybe around 4 set the global color as the golden side mark ok now you see what happens if we move this light we have this stunning light moving across the logo so put the keyframe around here when the logo start reveals I'll just place it here press T and mark an opacity point as from 0 to 100 set the animate the position as well mark a position keyframe and as the logo is getting revealed we are going to move this light with the logo so let's see this it's like a strong light bar uh, moving across the logo as it is getting revealed so uh, it just feels that this light is getting is revealing the logo as it's moving towards it so friends uh, we have made this uh, cool and uh, nice particular animation today so friends, if you like this video, just hit the like button and soon we are starting a giveaway. So please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Sayonara.